we'll continue with problem number 11. The electric uh, intensity, that is the field, due to an infinite cylinder. So this is an infinite cylinder. Okay, I can't draw an infinite cylinder, so it appears that it's a finite cylinder. But the radius is capital R and uh, it's having a charge per unit length. The charge is Q per unit length. So that is uh, the value of lambda, you know, lambda equal to Q. Uh, because unit length here, so that's why it is divided by 1. At a distance of small r from its axis, so if this is the axis, then at a distance of small r, where r is greater than r, so what would be the value of the electric field at that point? So there is no need to write any equations here because you see that even an infinite line charge, you know, you can assume that this infinite cylinder is like an infinite line charge. So for an infinite line charge, we already know that the value of the electric field is lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r. So you can see that it is inversely proportional to r. So therefore, you can see it is inversely proportional to r fits in the answer here. Okay, so all questions you are not supposed to keep solving. Some things you have already solved it and you can use it. Let us go for the 12th problem. There is a sphere whose radius is capital R. So as you read the problem, you are supposed to draw the diagram. You do not have separate time to, you know, read the problem and again draw the diagram. So it is a sphere and this is having uniform distribution that I click mark that uh, in its volume at a distance of x from the center where x is less than R. So I at a distance of x from the center where x is less than R, what is the electric field proportional to at this point? related to x. So here you do not have any shortcut, you will have to derive it only. See why have we taught the Gauss's law for finding out electric field only, okay, otherwise there is no need to teach Gauss's law. So we are going to use the Gauss's law here because you can see that uh, this is a Gaussian surface which is a symmetrical surface which satisfies the properties of a Gaussian surface like electric field is parallel to the patch area and also uh, I can say that uh, the electric field is constant at every point here. So I will write the Gauss's law first so that I come to know what I need to find out. So Gauss's law says that the net flux crossing this closed surface that is mathematically given by E bar dot ds bar that is proportional to the charge enclosed within that surface. Okay. So because I am satisfying the property of the Gaussian surface. We know that I do not have to do time pass here, I can directly write E integral of ds, okay, E bar dot ds bar go E ds, then E is constant, take it out. So I have skipped out all those steps because I have already thought that before. So that is equal to charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught and you can see that the surface area of this Gaussian surface because it is a spherical surface of radius x will be 4 pi x square. So that is equal to charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Let us call this equation number 1. Now we have to find out what is the charge enclosed within this Gaussian surface. So now we take the help of this concept that you are having a uniform distribution. So because it is a spherical surface, I can say a charge of uh, let us say capital Q because they have not spoken about what is the total uh, charge. Let us see this one. A sphere is uniformly distribution, has a uniform distribution of electric charge. I do not know what is the charge. But let us say that the charge is Q that is uniformly distributed. So I can say if the charge Q is associated with a volume of 4 upon 3 pi r cube, then what is the charge associated with a volume of 4 upon, uh, 4 upon 3 pi x cube? Because that is this one. Because it is uniform distribution, I can do like this. So I can say charge enclosed will be equal to C 4 upon 3 pi x cube into Q divided by 4 upon 3 pi r cube. So this will get cancelled. So you will get Q x cube divided by r cube and that is what I need to substitute here. So electric field 4 pi x square that will be equal to Q times x cube divided by epsilon naught r cube. So I am not interested in this Q, epsilon naught, R Q, 4 pi and all that. I am interested only in the X term, you can see here. So therefore I can say that uh, from here electric field is proportional to X cube by X square, that is proportional to X. So physics means mathematics, you have to use mathematics 
you cannot uh, just look at the problem and read it like a philosophical question and then answer a directly tick mark. You'd surely be wrong. Okay, please derive the equations and then only you can confirm the answer. Can we go for the 13th one? For a given surface, the Gauss's law is stated in this way. Then which of these following statements are true? See, we know from the Gauss's law that the net flux crossing a closed surface is nothing else but this value. You know, this is nothing else but the formula for the uh, flux for a non-uniform field. For a uniform field, we say flux equal to Ea. But if E and A are having different, you know, if they are at an angle with each other, then you can replace it with E bar dot A bar. But this is for a uniform field. If it is a non-uniform field, then we use this formula. So some students get con uh, confused that ye kya hai, ye kya, ye alag -alag formula hai kya. No, these are all for different cases. These formulas have been listed out here. So this is zero ka matlab yehi hota hai ki total flux jo surface ko cross karta hai, wo zero hai. To isliye C option aapka correct hai. Chik hai? Abhi hum 14th problem mein chale jate hai. They are saying that the capacity, uh, okay, to capacitor mein aage hum. Dekho, flux se bahar aage hum. Uh, capacity of a parallel plate condenser is 5 microfarad. When a glass plate is placed between the plates of a conductor, then you have a dielectric material. So, what will and if its potential becomes, okay, the new potential is 1 8 to the original value, then what would be the value of the dielectric constant? Because you know what is the dielectric constant in case you are not aware. Then we say that for uh, free space, we talk about permittivity of free space. But if medium hai, then we say the permittivity is epsilon. So this permittivity can be expressed as a suitable multiple of epsilon naught. So this suitable multiple is called as the dielectric constant. Na? In case you are not aware, I explained that concept. So we have to find out this value of dielectric constant. Sometimes they use k, sometimes they use epsilon r. So let's not get confused with the different notations. These all notations are same only. So now we will do one thing. Q equal to C into V is one of the famous relations that we have for capacitance. So we will uh, do one thing here. We'll write capacity is equal to Q divided by V. See, charge will not differ. Charge, whether even after putting a dielectric material charge will not change so in the original case we have uh, the result that phi uh, you know micro correct uh, the capacity that is phi micro uh, that is equal to uh, q divided by v okay q will be something so i'll write this as equation number two now they're saying that uh, when a glass plate is uh, uh, put out here then uh, the new potential is going to be given as now see what is this value here this is equal to epsilon naught a divided by d we know this is the formula for the capacity for a parallel plate capacitor this is a parallel plate capacitor so without any dielectric this is the formula but if you put a dielectric material then the formula becomes epsilon naught epsilon r that's what i told here area of the plate is not changing and the distance between the plate is not changing and the potential decreases to one eighth of the value. So like this, you can write. So you can see from this one that if I divide these two equations, then what's going to happen? See what is common, I will cancel it out because this can be written as now what see this uh, V by 8 co, I'll just take this V on the top. And I'll write this as 8q by v. So if I divide both of these equations, see q and q will cancel because they are at the same location. v and v will cancel. Epsilon naught a will cancel. d and d will cancel. So what I'm going to have here will be 8 divided by 1. So I'm dividing this one like this. That is equal to epsilon naught r divided by 1. Okay, that is this one has got cancelled. So what is the value of dielectric constant? It is 8. So that is the value. So capacity being 5 microfarad has not been of any use in the problem for us from solution perspective. Okay. I hope this, I hope this part is clear. We can go for the 15th problem. When a capacitor is charged, not when a capacitor is charged, a capacitor is charged by using a battery. 
पहले चार्ज करते हो उसको और फिर उसको डिसकनेक्ट कर देते हो ओके देन वॉट यू डू इज दैट यू इंसर्ट अ डायलैक्ट्रिक स्लैब बिटवीन द प्लेट्स सो वॉट विल रिजल्ट यू नो हियर दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिडक्शन ऑफ चार्ज इंक्रीज ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस डिक्रीज ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस आपको एक जिस्ट लेना है बस क्या क्या दिखे नहीं तो एक एक स्टेटमेंट को आप पढ़ते रहेंगे तो यूल गेट कन्फ्यूज यू जस्ट एक जिस्ट दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट चार्ज दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनर्जी सो लेट मी ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट दो वैल्यूज दैट्स ऑल यू हैव टू वर्क आउट सी वी अगेन राइट द इक्वेशन क्यू इक्वल टू सी इन टू वी राइट सो दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ना सो लेट मी डू वन थिंग लेट मी राइट दिस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एस क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई सी सो वेन यू आर नॉट हैविंग द डायलेक्ट्रिक मेटीरियल प्लेस इनिशियली द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस वुड हैव बीन लाइक दिस दैट इज ओनली पैरल प्लेट कैपेसिटर विदाउट अ डायलेक्ट्रिक एप्सोल नॉट ए बाई डी ना वेन यू इंसर्ट अ डायलेक्ट्रिक लेट इज से द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज वी डैश ओके Q divided by charge is not going to change. आप already उसको charge कर दिया उसको charge will not change. There is no question of reduction in charge. And here the capacity will become epsilon naught epsilon naught r divided by d. And we know that the dielectric constant is always greater than one. It's a well known fact here. So if this is greater than one, then naturally this potential will decrease. and now see decrease in potential difference is only one option here but this see reduction in stored energy also they are talking about so stored energy jo hota hai that is potential energy is half cv square so naturally the potential decreases even the stored energy will decrease that also makes sense and there is no change in charge that we have already spoken so the c answer is correct they give a thumbs up for that now we go for the 16 problem the energy of a charged capacitor is given by you know it's a direct it's a formula based question but still we'll see uh, suppose you remember it like this half cv square then q equal to c into v so you're supposed to eliminate the v factor so v equal to q by c if you put that here then you'll get half c q square divided by c square that is equal to half q square divided by c so in this way you can do it but if you can remember all these different formats there is also one more format in terms of uh, c this is c and v this is q and c you could have q and v also na so in terms of that also you can represent the answer so you can memorize all the three formats or you could uh, actually isko separately by heart karne ki zarurat nahi wo karte karte automatically by heart ho jata hai otherwise you will go mad by hearting all those formulas in a charged capacitor where does the energy reside see the purpose just like the purpose of a barrel of water you know which we use for storing water is to store water similarly what is the purpose of capacitor the very purpose of the capacitor is to store electrical energy that is why we introduce this device otherwise there is no need to introduce this device and the purpose of an inductor is to store the magnetic energy so where is this energy residing so if you have two plates here and we know that the electric field will be from the positive uh, plate uh, you know sheet to the negative plate then the energy will be stored here only na in the electric field so that's why they're saying here that this energy is stored in the field that is there between the plates wahan pe wo reside karta hai okay so that is the correct answer then 18th problem there are eight drops of mercury and uh, which are of equal radii and they possess equal charges also and what you do you combine them to form a big drop dekho we have done such problems in surface tension also so there we used to say that initial volume equal to final volume because that is invariably will be required in the problem so you say 4 upon 3 pi uh, eight drops are there na so 8 into 4 upon 3 pi r cube that is equal to 4 upon 3 pi capital r cube one single drop So four upon three pi will get cancelled. Two r equal to capital R. That is your first equation. So I don't have to read the entire problem. The moment I see such a statement, if you have sufficient practice, आपको पता रहता है कि मुझे ये equation दिखना है क्योंकि आपने surface tension अगर किया है तो automatically आपको पता ही वो required रहेगा. Then what is the capacitance of the bigger drop compared to the smaller drop? Okay. so we have to compare see q equal to cv 
okay so we can write here that uh, uh, this is volume okay it is not the potential that you are writing here so i want to compare the capacity na to capacity equal to q divided by v is tarah se aap likhoge so now uh, dekho potential jo hota hai for a uh, ye jo spherical hai that is how much uh, uh, this is q divided by 4 pi epsilon not r ओके okay, अगर कोई स्पेरिकल बिकॉज दिस इज ए ड्रॉप है स्पेरिकल टाइप uh, है तो स्पेरिकल कंडक्टर का जो पोटेंशियल ये होता है एंड देन सी विल बी गिवन बाय क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय वी तो दैट इज फोर बाय एप्सल ऑन नॉट आर ये तो डायरेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन का है इनफैक्ट कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ स्पेरिकल कंडक्टर इज फोर बाय एप्सल ऑन नॉट आर दैट इज टू बी रिमेंबर्ड ओके बट इन केस यू आर नॉट अवेयर आई जस्ट डिराइव दैट तो अभी मैं लिखूंगा चलो जो मेरा पुराना इनिशियल जो कैपेसिटी है अगर उसको सी से मैं डिनोट करूंगा और रेडियस को कैपिटल आर से डिनोट करूंगा तो वो मेरा पहला इक्वेशन है और जो नया कैपेसिटेंस है वो जो आपका रेडियस होगा दैट विल बी आर डिवाइडेड बाय टू यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस एक्सप्रेशन आई एव सब्सिट्यूटेड इट सो आई वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट हैपन्स टू दिन द कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ द बिगर ड्रॉप कंपेयर टू द इंडिविजुअल स्मॉलर ड्रॉप ओके विल बिकम हाउ मेनी टाइम्स so we will uh, we can see that if i divide both of the c divided by c dash then these two will get cancel and this two will come on the top so that is uh, uh, you know uh, compared to it it will be two times like that we can write okay i hope this part is clear then start with our problem number 19 that's where we left off last time so here we have a problem which states that the separation between the plates of the parallel plate capacitor is d so here you have a parallel capacitor and this separation is d the area of each plate is capital a so that's the area now what we do is we take a slab whose dielectric constant is k and uh, thickness is t and you can see that this thickness is less than d so this would be something like this the thickness is t and you can see it's lesser than d and it's introduced between the plates find out what is the new value of the capacitance सो so, मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि ऐसे प्रॉब्लम्स में जब हम ये ऑप्शन को देखते हैं तो जनरली वी गेट यू नो वी आर टोटली ब्लैंक वी डोंट नो वॉट इज टू बी डन तो आई ऑलवेज सजेस्ट द बैक टू फ्रंट अप्रोच वेर यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम बैक यू राइट डाउन द फाइनल इक्वेशन विच विल गिव यू द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस तो जो जो फॉर्मूलाज आपको पता है कैपेसिटेंस में जो है तो वो लिख डालो और ऑटोमेटिकली आपको समझ में आएगा कि क्या करना है जैसे यहाँ पे देखो बैक टू फ्रंट अप्रोच देखो हाउ आई एम डूइंग लेट्स एज्यूम दैट आई एम डूइंग दिस विद अ ब्लैंक माइंड आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज टू बी डन आई एम आल्सो इक्वली ब्लैंक लाइक यू लेट्स से तो मैं क्या करता हूँ पहला मैं फाइनल इक्वेशन लिखता हूँ क्यू इक्वल टू सी वी ये इक्वेशन तो हमें सब पता है तो अगर मुझे कैपेसिटेंस चाहिए तो कैपेसिटेंस को एक साइड में लो तो नेचुरली मुझे क्यू बाई वी लिखना पड़ेगा दैट मीन्स दैट जब तक मैं पोटेंशियल फाइंड आउट नहीं कर सकता और पोटेंशियल को क्यू के टर्म्स में लिखूंगा तो क्यू क्यू कैंसिल होगा क्योंकि यहाँ पे तो क्यू दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है तो पोटेंशियल अगर फाइंड आउट करूंगा इन दोनों प्लेट्स के बीच में तो मुझे कैपेसिटेंस मिलेगा इसको बोलते हैं बैक टू फ्रंट अप्रोच अभी व्हाट इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू प्लेट्स फिर मैं नेक्स्ट सोचता हूँ कि क्या इक्वेशन लिखना है तो मैं बोलता हूँ ओके दैट इज द पोटेंशियल ऑफ द एयर पार्ट जो होगा प्लस द पोटेंशियल ऑफ द स्लैब जो भी आपने यहाँ पे स्लैब रखा है उसके अबाउट ये होगा फिर मैं सोचता हूं नेक्स्ट कि पोटेंशियल कैसे मिलेगा तो मैं रफ में यहां पे लिखता हूं देखो E इक्वल टू V डिवाइडेड बाई डी तो पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज E इन टू डी दैट मीन्स दैट अगर मुझे E पता चलता है तो मुझे पोटेंशियल पता चलेगा अभी मैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पूछूंगा E कैसे मिलेगा तो दिस इज कॉल्ड बैक टू फ्रेंड मैं पीछे 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 जा रहा हूं फिर मैं बोलूंगा ओके okay, ई e तो अगर एयर का होगा तो आई विल से ये कुछ पॉजिटिवली चार्ज होगा ये नेगेटिवली चार्ज होगा तो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जो एयर का होगा आई विल राइट दैट हियर ओके आई विल राइट इट हियर ओनली दैट इज इक्वल टू ड्यू टू दिस वन इसका अगर पॉजिटिव uh, सिग्मा uh, है और ये माइनस सिग्मा है तो आप जानते हैं इट इज सिग्मा डिवाइडेड बाय टू एप्सल और नॉट प्लस सिग्मा बाय टू एप्सल और नॉट बिकॉज ये इन्फाइनेट शीट ऑफ चार्ज होने के कारण सिग्मा बाई टू एप्सल और नॉट होता है और इसका भी टू सिग्मा बाई टू एप्सल और नॉट दोनों सेम डायरेक्शन में होने के कारण आई कैन एड इट डायरेक्टली दैट इज सिग्मा बाई एप्सल और नॉट जो मैं डायरेक्टली भी लिख सकता था क्योंकि दैट इज अ स्टैंडर्ड रिजल्ट 
So that means that the potential of the air will be this value of uh, this one E, I will write that into D. D means not this D. Take ye uh, total kitna hai D minus T hoga, kyunki air ka party lena hai. So I will write here, ye kya tha? Ye sigma by epsilon naught, ye kya hai? Ye E hai. Or D ke liye mein yahan pe upar likunga, that is how much? Uh, D minus T. Okay, ye yahan pe mein जो ब्रैकेट डाला था उसको मैं रब कर लेता हूं उसी तरह से स्लैब का भी आप लिख सकते हैं ओके okay, स्लैब के लिए भी आप लिखेंगे क्या फर्क पड़ेगा यहां पे स्लैब के केस में ये सिर्फ एब्सोल्यूट नॉट नहीं आएगा आपके पास डायरेक्टर कांस्टेंट का वैल्यू भी आ जाता है दैट इज के सो यहां पे यू विल राइट सिग्मा डिवाइडेड बाय एब्सोल्यूट नॉट के और थिकनेस कितना है d t के जगह पे t है तो ये भी मिल गया तो इसको अभी यहां पे डाल दो तो यू विल से कैपेसिटेंस विल बी क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय ये जो पूरा वैल्यू में देखो सिग्मा uh, का मतलब है सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी तो चार्ज पर यूनिट एरिया ऑफ द प्लेट सो दैट द क्यू विल गेट कैंसिल्ड इसलिए मैं इसको इस तरह से लिख रहा हूं ओके सो दिस विल कम लाइक दिस सो क्यू यू नो क्यू विल बी कैंसिल्ड एंड this a epsilon naught can be taken in the numerator because wo dono mein common hai aur jo bachcha hai wo hai d minus t plus yahan pe dekho ye uh, a t rahega aur uh, capital k rahega ab isko standard format mein leke aa jao epsilon naught a likha fir d aur plus t le lo common to uh, jo andar rahega that is going to be okay. Uh, yahan pe plus t ke format mein nahi aayega. So I think I'll have to take this minus outside. Okay. Standard format mein leke aata hu. So if I put a minus sign here, minus. So minus likha to 1 aur fir yahan pe minus 1 by k hoga. Dekho, this is the same na. Minus t plus t by k. Okay. So this is the value of the capacitance. So main tick mark kar dunga. <coughs> so this way, your back to front approach has given the result without any problem. और अभी देखो ये जो आपने डिराइव किया इसको शॉर्टकट जैसे आप ट्रीट कर सकते हो कभी भी अगर आगे कोई प्रॉब्लम आता है जहां पे एक स्लैब रखा है जिसका थिकनेस लेसर देन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द प्लेट्स होगा तो आई कैन डायरेक्टली से द कैपेसिटी इज एब्सोल्यूट नॉट ए डिवाइडेड बाय डी माइनस टी इन द ब्रैकेट 1 minus 1 by k वेयर k इज द डायरेक्टरी कांस्टेंट कैन वी रिमेंबर दिस इक्वेशन इमीडिएटली देन वी गो एंड गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम the capacity of a parallel plate capacitor is C. Now, if uh, what is the capacity when the separation between the plates is half? So, parallel plate capacitor ka formula hai epsilon naught A by D. Ye before you, uh, you know, changed the separation between the plates. Now, if the separation between the plates is changed, then the capacity will change because capacity is a function of the geometrical uh, parameters involved. Okay, so geometrical parameters are area of the plate, hai, distance between the plates. These are geometrical parameters. In Q it depends on capacity. It does not depend upon the charge, it does not depend upon the potential difference between the plates. Just like if you are having a water container, so whether the water is there or whether the water is not there, capacity of that barrel you will continue to say that it's 50 uh, 50 liter 100 liter or 1000 liter ka capacity ab bologe aise nahi ki pani nahi hai to ab bologe capacity zero ho gaya similarly electrical energy capacity uh, capacitor mein stored hai ya nahi hai farak nahi padta capacity will remain as it is it depends upon the geometrical parameters agar aapne change kar diya capacity of the 10000 liters ki jagah pe 50 liter kar diya to capacity will change of the barrel similarly yahan pe अगर आपने geometrical parameters change कर दिया तो capacity change होगा that's what you're seeing here तो now what is the capacity when the separation is half तो c dash divided by c that will be equal to uh, a 2 if you divide both of these equations so that means c dash will become 2 times the original value of the capacity so that is why d option is correct okay can we go for the 21st problem a parallel plate condenser Okay. that is immersed in an oil of dielectric constant 2 then how does the field change okay field ke baare mein baat kar rahe hai. So, <clears throat> let's write down the equations from beginning q equal to c into v okay so c equal to q divided by v 
तो पहले आपका डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट नहीं था इट वाज वैक्यूम तो उस पर्टिकुलर केस में आप पोटेंशियल ओके वील राइट दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल राधर देन इन टर्म्स ऑफ सी पोटेंशियल हम लोग फाइंड आउट करेंगे तो पोटेंशियल इक्वल टू क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई सी तो जब डायलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट नहीं था तो आप लिखेंगे कैपेसिटेंस इज एप्सल ऑन नॉट ए डिवाइडेड बाई डी दैट इज क्यू डी डिवाइडेड बाई एप्सल ऑन नॉट ए ये आपका इक्वेशन नंबर वन है जब आपने इमर्स कर दे इसको एक ऑयल में जिसका डायलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट है टू तो द न्यू वैल्यू ऑफ पोटेंशियल विल बी क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई अभी देखो ये एप्सल ऑन नॉट और के भी आ जाएगा ए डिवाइडेड बाई डी That means this is QD divided by epsilon naught K into A. This is equation number टू फिर आप बोलोगे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड के बारे में कुछ तो बोलने को बोला है तो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज नथिंग एल्स बट वी डिवाइडेड बाई डी करेक्ट सो वी कैन माइनस डी वी बाई डी एक्स जो होता है दैट इज वॉट एवर टन हियर यहाँ पे साइन डाला नहीं मैंने सो दे फॉर दिस ओरिजिनल वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विल भी ये डी से अगर सब किया तो एप्सल ऑन नॉट इक्वल टू क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई एप्सल ऑन नॉट ए ये मेरा नया इक्वेशन हो जाएगा दैट इज थर्ड इक्वेशन और uh, इसके केस में मैं v v डैश डिवाइडेड बाई डी लिखूंगा दैट मीन्स क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई एप्सल ऑन नॉट के टाइम्स ए ये लिखा है तो वॉट हैपन्स टू द फील्ड सो ई डैश डिवाइडेड बाई थर्ड और फोर्थ इक्वेशन को डिवाइड करने से आई विल गेट दिस इज यू नो वन बाई के ओके बिकॉज ये बाकी सब कैंसिल हो जाएगा सिर्फ वन बाई के बचेगा तो ई डैश विल बी इक्वल टू ई डिवाइडेड बाई के दैट मीन्स दैट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ के दैट इज टू इट इज डिक्रीज प्रपोर्शनल टू वन बाई टू करके वी गेट दिस वैल्यू ओके सो दैट मीन्स दैट मैं जनरलाइज कर सकता हूँ कि अगर मेरा कोई डायलेक्ट्रिक रखा है कैपेसिटर प्लेट्स के बीच में तो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड हमेशा कम होगा and we can use that as a shortcut in some other